Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me. Stampin' Sue Creates here, here to do a uh, video. So um, I have an upcoming craft show the end of July here in Northeastern Pennsylvania and I'm really thrilled about it because things have been um, really on hold for a while. Um, so I thought I would do some baby bibs. Now, about a week ago, I had um, some orders to do um, with with bibs and uh, burp cloths and what else I do I did some onesies I probably should have done a video on that but I was kind of nervous about doing it because especially the onesies I mean zero to three month onesies are kind of tough to do and I had to really keep an eye on it because I had to put it in a uh, five by seven hoop so um tonight um I thought you know I feel like doing some embroidering you know so I started doing these bibs um here's the one that I did isn't that cute? Let the adventure begin. So these are the bibs that I, I got. Got these off of Amazon. Hope you can see that. Um, they're called Neat Solutions. You got 10. Um, this is three months plus, machine washable. They were really inexpensive and um, they work up really nice. So I know everybody always wants to see um, the back. So here's the front. Let the adventure begin. Has Velcro on the top. I mean, I did buy fabric to make my own bibs, but heck, when they're already made, why not? Here's the back. Now, I did use a cutaway mesh stabilizer, and I didn't put any um, stabilizer on the front of it because it's kind of not that thick, and I think the stitch out came really nice. So I thought, you know what, let's do another bib, and um, let's do a video to show you. Maybe you've never done bibs before. I'm trying to move Bob. This is Bob, by the way. I don't know if I ever told you, but Bob has a name. <laughs> well, his name is Bob. Um, so I'm doing a five by seven hoop. Uh, let me put you down a little bit. And i um, just gonna go ahead and uh, hoop my stabilizer. I think you could see that, kind of partially. I mean, let me try to turn it this way. Bob takes up a lot of room. So this is a cutaway, if I didn't say, cutaway mesh stabilizer. And I know, and see that I'm not gonna have enough room here. Um, may have to do it off to the side. Um, because you wanna make sure you stabilize your um, stabilizer. You stabilize your stabilizer, that's, yeah, an oxy. Um, anyhow, um, you wanna make sure you have it really nice in the hoop. That squeak is just me tightening up the little screw on here. And um, let me just make sure it's nice. And um, now you don't want it to be like extremely tight, but you want it to be nice and firm. So there we go. We have that all um, in the hoop. Let me bring you up a little bit. Hopefully you're not gonna get dizzy on me. So um, let's go ahead and get one of these bibs. And um, if you're new to embroidery, um, Something like this, a project like a bib is, is a great project to get started with. So um, here's our hoop and here's our bib. So what I like to do, um, totally up to you, to you or totally up to people how they do things, I like to float this in the hoop. So what floating means is I have my stabilizer that's hooped and this fabric just kind of sits on top while you stitch. But in order for it to stay securely, I like to use a spray adhesive, which is safe for your embroidery machine. And the one I like to use is 505. It's temporary adhesive. There you go. Um, Odif is the name of it. And um, I'm not even, I don't really remember where I got it from, but make sure if you're using any spray adhesive that it is safe for your machine embroidery. There's a lot of adhesives out there that are for crafting and things like that. You wanna make sure that you have one that is safe for sewing, embroidery machines, and things like that. So um, I don't like to spray it anywhere near my machine. I'm gonna take it away from um, the machine. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. And I'm only going to spray a little bit in the center. Let me see, maybe you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see that. So what that does then, let me put the cap on this. That's going to make a, a sticky surface. Let me move Bob a little bit. And here's my hoop. So it's going to make a sticky surface. Let me see if I can get you in there again. 
so that when I go to put my bib on there, I mean, it's not gonna stick totally, but it's going to um, hold it in place for a little bit. Let me tighten this up a little bit more. So here's what I like to do. Now, the hoops have these lines on them. And this is what I use to help measure. Now it's a bib, you know, <clears throat> it's not a leather jacket or it's not anything, you know, that I'm going to be really concerned about. It's just a bib. So what I like to do is I take right sides together and I fold it lengthwise. So what this is going to do is this is going to create the center crease. Okay. So then what I want to do is with these lines top and bottom I'm gonna line up my bib right in the center you know you can use a ruler if you want it to you know to make sure you're exact so I'm gonna put the center where the fold is and then I'm gonna flop it open like that and then what I want to do is I want to take a look at that I want to look um, I'm not normally the most uh, straightest person in the world. I can't draw anything other than a stick figure. Um, you can go ahead and mark it with a uh, water soluble pen if you want, but um, just kind of eyeball that and that looks good to me. Was that thing? What do y'all think? That looks good to you? I think so. <clears throat> so let me pull Bob back in here to the living. Come on, Bob. Bob is a big guy. And um, I have this little mat underneath. I don't know if it's helping, but um, kind of, I think it helps a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this in my hoop. And, um, okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> let's go on over to um, the embroidery part of the machine where the screen is here. I'm sorry that I'm kind of moving you all around, but. Um, let me see if I can loosen this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna hit embroidery and I have a USB plugged in there. It's gonna take a while to load because I have a lot of designs in here. So the uh, designs that I have, here's the one that I just did. Um, oh no, that's not it. Here it is, let the adventure begin. So the designs that I have loaded in here are from Anita Good Design, and I highly recommend them. They um, have, have very good detailed designs. Um, they do a great job in their digitizing. I've never been unhappy with their designs. And this is called Baby One, Two, Three. Now this is a huge file. When you go Anita Good Design, I'll put a link down below dot com they have tons of tons of different um embroidery designs so you'll see this one here is a smaller one see these like hoop sizes right here so these are different hoop sizes that um bob takes he takes the small four by four uh five by seven six by ten and i think the other one is eight by twelve do not um hold me to that but i think so so this smallest design goes in the five by seven. If you notice, there's another design here that goes, you know, into a six by 10. So they come in different sizes. If you need something bigger, you can always adjust your, um, are you guys seeing that? My goodness, I'm so sorry. Um, there we go. It's kind of like slowly sliding down. I have no idea why it's doing that. But um, you can adjust this on your um, embroidery machine. You can go ahead and flip it going the other way. You can do a lot of things with editing on your machine. Um, most machines, even at the smaller four by fours, they have a little bit of editing capacity. Now, if you wanna edit even more, you wanna go and get yourself a, a program, a software program. I myself personally like Embrilliance. I think it's easy to use. Um, it's affordable and it's a great way, say you wanted to um, add names to this or dates or things like that. You can go in and move around things and, and do, <coughs> excuse me, with a software program. So I already did that one. Um, so let's see what else is in here. Uh, small but mighty, oh, that's cute. 
Uh, let's just scroll through here. What do we got? Let's play. Um, Daddy's little pal. That's cute. What's this one? <coughs> Excuse me. Sweet dreams. That's cute. Mommy's little sweetie. Oh, now that is cute. And you could see like these, uh, the stitch time is not very long on these. I think I'm going to do a mommy's one. Like why not? Right? All right. So I think we're going to be settling for this size. Now, you know, you can put these on all sorts of things. What's this one? Young, wild and free. Now let's go with the mommy thing. Mommy's little sweetie. Um, they do give suggested colors here. Um, this is both Floriani thread colors. Um, they pretty much have standard uh, colors here. They're doing um, 140 for a pink. It looks like a pale blue three. Mm, is that 83 or 93? I got to get my glasses checked. I can't really read that. It's not like I can go in and make the screen bigger, you know. 752 but again these are suggested colors you can use whatever colors you want so i'm thinking mommy's little sweetie is going to need like a pink a purple uh let me see what i have off to the side here um here's a nice pink i'm gonna make this nice and bright here's a pink just picking colors i have off to the side we can go ahead and use a, a light blue in that as well let me check this blue color like why not All right I think these colors work well. Can you all see these colors? What do you think of these colors? Why not, right? Okay, so we're gonna pick that design. So we want that. We're gonna go ahead and hit embroidery. So it's gonna bring it up and you can see it's only 10 minutes stitch. I mean, 10 minutes is like nothing. So um, let me go ahead and uh, pull Bob a little bit closer. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this little button here. See this little block with the little um, arrow? You hit that block and what that's going to do is when you hit that, it's going to move around the base. It's going to show you exactly where it's going to stitch on the bib. So I'm going to go ahead and um, you don't need to watch that, but you do need to watch and see how this all works. How's that look for you? I have a box of catalogs here on the floor. This is kind of a last minute video I thought I'd do. Um, today is what? June 1st, 2021. And um, what the heck time is it? 9.45 p.m. I kind of feel a little energetic tonight. So I thought, you know what? Let's pop a couple bibs off before we go to bed, right? So I'm going to go ahead and press that little square. It's going to show me exactly where it's going to stitch. That don't look very big. Hmm. Um, let's close that out and let's go, um, let's go and check out that other pattern. Let me go back in. Well, I had to go back to the beginning now. Now I got to wait. Um, where was that at? Let's see. What was that other size? Let's see that one. I'm going to hit embroidery just like I did before. Let's see how big that one's going to be. Ooh. Not that squeak is. Okay, that looks better. That's that's the. Um, I'm thinking that's the. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a bigger hoop for that. Let me check. Here's how you're gonna check to see if you put the foot down. Oh, I have a green, so yeah, I can use this size hoop. Okay, so let me check this again. I think I might have to want to move that up a little bit. I'm gonna just use the editing. Yep, I definitely want to move that up. I'm going to use the editing on um, my embroidery machine. I'm going to close this out. And um, let me show you here. And then I'll take you back to there. So you see all those little arrows? You see they have arrows. You can move this up as much as you want. Let's move it up. And then let's go back to um, the bib. And let's take a look and see where is that going to stitch. And there goes my dog. You know, I'll tell you, she hears one little noise and it's like the world is coming to an end. Okay, that looks good to me. I don't know. Maybe that's a little high. So you can go ahead and just press one of these little buttons. So that's where it's going to start. That's where it's going to end. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I think I'm going to move it down just a touch. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. 
And let's see how this one's going to be. Oh, see, this is what happens with me. I'm like, nope, I think I got to move it back up again. <laughs> how many of you like that? Indecisive, indecisive, right? What could I tell you? I mean, I'm not a perfectionist, but you know, hey, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. All right. Well, I think I want to move it over a tad bit just about there. And I think I am good with that. All right. So let's start off. They started off with pink. So we could do that. We could do pink, blue, and then purple. So I'm using, this one is um, Thread Nanny Thread. It's number um, 085, 085. And it's gonna be nice and bright um, bib. So, um, oops, a little awkward here, I'm trying to work around you guys. I wanna make sure that you can see. Let me bring you in a little closer. All right, do my best for my um, videography skills. So the first thing it's gonna do is mommies. It looks like mommies is pretty large. So let's go ahead and stitch out mommies. Now, if you were doing a, um, say a towel or something that had a thick um, material to it, you'd wanna go ahead and put a uh, clear, uh, stabilizer on the top uh, washable this is going to be big uh, washable clear stabilizer over the top I didn't feel as though it needed this when I did the other ones and um, because it's not very thick but um, yeah this is going to be nice and big you can see this one good all right so mommy's little sweetie so, I mean, you can stitch these up fairly quickly. Like I said, this one here, this is a little bit larger than the other one, so it's 12 minutes. And um, you got somebody that you need, you know, some gifts for. This machine embroidery, I'll tell you, um, it's not a cheap hobby by any means. But um, once you get your essentials, you know, um, get some designs, things like that, you know, you really can make some really nice projects and personalized projects that you can't buy in any store. And make yourself a little um, hand stamped card along with it. Maybe something that coordinates with um, whatever your gift is going to be. And um, people will treasure this. So now this is not a wash away stabilizer. Um, I know there's all sorts of um, different, everybody has their own opinions, right? Um, I was told if you wear it, you don't wash it. Okay. So you want to use a cutaway. Now on the back of this, um, because you know, if this was a baby shirt or something, um, you would want to use something that kind of irons on over when you're all done and, um, won't scratch a baby skin or anybody's skin. I mean, if you're making a shirt, you don't want to have that, you know, scratching your skin. So they, they sell something called Tender Touch. And Tender Touch is just an iron-on little piece that goes on the back and makes it super soft so um, it won't scratch the baby's skin. Now this is a bib. I'm going to assume, um, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm gonna assume that with bibs, most of the time, babies have a shirt on or something or a t-shirt or whatnot. But um, if you're concerned about that, go ahead and get yourself some Tender Touch and um, iron that onto the back and this way here to be nice and soft on baby skin this is super cute i love the font i think it's really really cute um i'm just gonna make up a whole bunch of these bibs and um they're like i said they were really inexpensive to purchase on amazon i really should have an amazon store i know you're all going to be yelling out you should have an amazon store um but i don't and um, you can make these up and sell them or you know whatever whatever you want to do. Once you purchase a design, the majority of the designers have a disclaimer to say you can't sell or change their design, but you certainly can make up projects and you can sell them. 
Oh, here it comes. I'm just wondering, what the heck is tickling my toes? It's my cat. <laughs> Oh, you know, it's that time of the year where like the bugs are starting to come out. Um, we had some really weird weather here in northeastern Pennsylvania over the weekend. We went down to the 40s and then up to the 60s and, you know, people were turning their heat on and I'm like, no way, I'm not turning my heat on. I have a little, um, which I'm surprised I didn't take it out. I have like a fake fireplace in my living room and I have those electric logs in the fake fireplace so the fake logs in the fake fireplace and i normally have it you know put away now i mean heck it's the first of june right it was a more just memorial day weekend but for some reason i didn't and you know what i'm kind of grateful i didn't because uh this weekend i probably could have moved this over just a teeny bit oh hello dory but that's okay again it's a bit um the S is going to be, I think, a little bit, yeah, close. Eh, it'll be fine. Um, baby's just going to spit up on it and whatnot, so whatever. If you're concerned about that, you can go in here later, maybe put a little something there, embroider a little something. But I think we're going to be, we're going to be fine. It looks good. Um, so I literally had to put that electric fireplace on, put the electric logs, the faux logs, just to kind of take the chill out of the house. Well, downstairs, anyhow. But um, tonight it's nice and cool. Today was a beautiful day. The sun was out. It's real nice. They're calling for maybe some showers the rest of the week. But hey, I'm okay if it rains, you know, because my thought is if it rains, that means I can't do any yard work. Darn it. Right. So there we go. Mommies. You know, all you can do if you wanted to put on here, just do mommy and stop the machine and don't do the apostrophe S. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to snip it at the top and I'm going to pull the thread through the bottom. You always want to do that. You don't want to pull it through the top and go the unnatural way that the um, thread is going to go because you're going to goof up your tension that way. So I hope you all had a wonderful uh, Memorial weekend. I didn't really do much. I kind of did a lot of embroidery. I was having a lot of problems with my um, right hand this weekend. Um, I, uh, been going to some occupational therapy because I've been having uh, issues with the tens and tendons in my hand. Just going to double check that. And, um, we we're kind of doing some different exercises. What is it doing over there? Oh, I think it's going to outline mommies. Yeah, that's what it's going to do. Oh, if I knew that, I would have done the purple. Eh, whatever. Um... Oh, what is it doing? Huh. This is the first time I'm stitching this out. Looks like it's kind of giving it a little 3D effect. I don't really know. Okay. Okay. We'll see. It's hard to see on the screen, and I, I don't remember. It's kind of doing... I don't know what those animals are doing. I'm just listening to see what I hear them doing. But, um, anyhow, um, so I do go to therapy two days a week. Uh, this week, because of the holiday, I'm only going, oh, it's my cat. She must have found something on the floor that she's tossing around. Um, only going to therapy one day tomorrow. So I was doing some different exercises with my hands for grip and pinch strength. And I think they were kind of aggravated a little bit. Um, been wearing my brace at night when I go to bed. I actually have two braces. One for each hand, wrist, arm, whatever you want to call it. But I found out the one night I'm like, well, I'm going to put them both on. So you put them on with Velcro, right? And they kind of, they're custom made. So they fit around my thumb. So they keep my thumb off, you know, in a fixed position. Well, I'm going to tell you what. You don't realize that you need your thumb to do things. So the next morning when I got up and I had to take them off to go and, you know, get ready for work, I couldn't get the darn things off because I wasn't able to use my thumb because my thumb was locked up in bo on both hands. And I thought, oh, no, this is funny. This is, this is really funny. I got to go to work and I can't get these splints off my arms. 
So anyhow, um, well, my teeth came in handy that day, and then I learned from then they all, I went to the therapist and I said, well, she goes, how's the splints working out? I said, well, they're working out great, but I learned don't wear them both because you can't get them off. And she says, oh, I've heard other people say that same thing. So now I kind of alternate. Um, the right hand has really been bothering me lately, so I've been wearing the right one. Um, at night, but um, if I find the left is bothering me, then that night I'll wear the left. So I flip flop back and forth. But it's a way when you put your hand in these custom splints, it keeps the thumb locked in position, and actually it gives your your hands a chance to rest. Because think about it, um, you can't rest your hands; you're always using them. So um, that, that's what's been going on. I, like I said, I did have some pain over the weekend and could not sleep. So I was up, you know, 2.30 in the morning. Like I thought, well, I might as well come in here and, and embroider. And this way it'll keep my mind off how much they hurt, you know. I think this is cute. I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of liking that little additional, um, like a 3D effect realize I had that because you couldn't really tell on the screen all right we're almost done with this and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to use um, well, um I guess we're going to keep the blue in it I don't know now kind of don't know well, maybe I will I'll keep the blue and I'll do the purple on the bottom like I, I had said Oh gosh, I apologize. I'm yawning. A friend of mine stopped at work today and uh, he brought me a, a coffee from Dunkin'. I'm going to tell you. Um, blueberry coffee from Dunkin'. And I drink it black. That is my most favorite coffee. I'm not sure if there's calories in it because I know that they use some sort of um, flavor. Thing. I mean, it's black coffee and they pump in some kind of blueberry flavor thing, but, oh, it was so good. And it really gives you like a jolt, you know, so I kind of felt um, energetic, but now that I'm sitting here and it's, what time is it now? Uh, 10 o'clock, kind of feeling a little tired. So I think I'll do this one bib and, um, oh, so now it's going to do sweetie. All right, well, that I'm going to do in purple. The little goes in between. Huh. All right, I'm going to do that one purple. I think. Yeah, I am. Um, my watch here. All right. So I'm going to do this purple. This is Thread Nanny Thread um, number 612. I'm telling you, I really need to go get my eyes checked. I was trying to read a bill because I wanted to call the 1-800 number and I for the life of me I dialed the first number and it was an incorrect number I could not read the way the numbers like sixes and eights and if you have that problem sixes and eights like they kind of all look the same and the way that the font was um, it wasn't easy to read I'm gonna blame it on the font so we're gonna do the word sweetie now um, but yeah, I had a heck of a time to read that. So here's what I, <laughs> I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. So here's what I did is I took a picture of it on my phone and, uh, oh, excuse me. I was so sorry. And um, I literally like took the picture and like, you know, blew the picture up on my phone so I can read the numbers. Yeah. How sad is that? So then I call. And it was um, a credit card. I wanted to pay off my one credit card. And you know they charge you a fee if you're going to use a debit card? Uh-huh. $10 if you want. Now, I want to pay off my bill. I want to pay off my credit card. And they're going to charge me an extra $10. Well, I never got to talk to anybody because it said they apologized. The, the call was important to them. However, it was going to be over a 30-minute wait. Now that's how busy they were. Now I'm going to tell you what. Are that many people calling the credit card companies? 
And this is the, uh, the care credit one, you know, that you use for like dental and medical and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So I thought, no way. And then it says you can go online. Well, that wasn't any easier. So you had to use like a routing number and, you know, you're like, you were as though you were writing them a check. That's how you had to pay for it. So I'm just hoping that all went through. I'll check the bank tomorrow and see all what's going on. But um, I just wanted to pay that bill off. And, you know, you just can't get to any people to talk to anybody anymore. I don't know what this world is coming to. I'm starting to sound like my mother. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I like the purple. What do you guys think? you like the purple? I think the blue in between will be nice. Well... It's cute anyhow. I'll have to trim those couple little longer threads. So, um, yeah, that was my thing after work today. So, uh, let's see what else. Um, what else is going on in my life? Mm, not too much. I don't have a very exciting life. So, um, for Mother's Day, um, my daughter and her family bought me a, um, a grill for outside. Now, I had a grill years ago when I first moved out after um, when I was going through a divorce when I lived in an apartment. And um, that thing worked for a while. And then, eh, you know, it started doing flare-ups. I mean, it wasn't an expensive grill. The kids bought me it as a gift. So my daughter ended up taking it. And then I haven't had a grill. Then I had one of those electric George Foreman ones. Well, I mean, it's just not the same as a gas grill. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up giving that to my daughter, which she then in turn gave that to her neighbor because she said her neighbor really wanted one and our neighbor's enjoying it. And you know what? That makes me happy. You enjoy it because it was just sitting in my basement anyhow. So then for um, before Mother's Day, she said, how would you like to have a grill? And I thought, yeah, you know what? I really would like to have a grill. So we grilled on it for Mother's Day. We had chicken and we had hamburgs and hot dogs and I mean my daughter's like did they show you how to use it and I thought well how hard is it to use right it has a tank turn the knob turn the buttons on the thing push the button it lights up well I this is my first time using it Memorial Day right I'm gonna have myself a little cookout just me myself and I so I go to go outside uh, to start the grill and I happen to catch something in the corner of my eye slithering through the grass and you know where I'm going with this when I say slithering well, it was a little snake. Oh, well, I mean, I'm surprised I didn't, like, really scream. Um, you know, that might have caused some craziness in, in the neighborhood. But I was just like, oh, my gosh, there's a snake. Well, just one of those little ones. But enough that it's like, okay, well, note to self, there's going to be no barefoot walking in my yard. Mm-hmm. So, anyhow, um... I didn't know how to work the grill. <laughs> I'm like, you know, maybe I should have read the manual. <laughs> but who reads a manual, right? <laughs> okay, so now this is going to do that same thing with the sweetie thing. So I think I'm just going to stick with the blue. I'm going to go back with the blue. And then we'll just end with the blue. And we'll be, we'll be done with this for now. Okay. So, yeah, I'm like, you know, turning on the gas. I mean, and gas just makes me nervous, you know. Um, gas in my house that, you know, heats and runs my house. and Propane, gas, and any of that. I mean, uh, you know, you hear the horror stories of things blowing up and whatnot. And I'm thinking, here I am just trying to cook myself some hamburgs on the grill for a nice Memorial Day cookout. But, um... So I tried it the first time, like, oh man, I smell gas. Well, here I realize you need to hold in, hold in the button for it to ignite. I mean, I just thought you just press the button, boom, boom. Now you gotta hold it in a little bit. So I got it going, and um, I actually had two steaks that my daughter had given me, and I did a couple hamburgs, so then I would have them, you know, for during the week, and it worked out well. And they were delicious. Mm-hmm. Really good. So I had one for supper tonight, and um, I have my other steak and uh, sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I will take a sweet potato any day over a um, baked p plain potato. I just, there's just something about them. This is cute. I'm not so sure if I'm liking the 3D effect, but 
Well, I think I did pretty good with the, um, you know, centering the design. And I think it's going to be cute. So, anyhow, um, let's see. So, what else is going on? So, today is Tuesday. I feel like it's Monday. I mean, I love having Mondays off with a holiday on a Monday. But I'll tell you, when you go to work, you're thinking all day that it's Monday and it's Tuesday. But the good thing is, you know, tomorrow is Wednesday. So, um, it's a short week. But, um... Yeah, so I was real busy at work today and um, just trying to get things caught up. And uh, yeah, and I had the nice surprise of um, being delivered a nice hot blueberry Dunkin' coffee. So that was really nice. Okay, so I don't know, I'm running out of things to say. I only have like another two minutes or so and. <laughs> And then we'll be done here. So, um, hope you all had a nice Memorial weekend. Um, I did find my flag. Went down the basement. And I'm like, I know I have a flag for the house. I have those little flags that I put in my planters and whatnot. But, you know, one that I hang the American flag on the house. And down there, like, scratching my head. Where is it? I saw it. So, I found it and put it out. And before I left for work today, because it was going to be another beautiful day, I hung my American flag out. And I just think that's so nice when you drive down the streets and you see people hanging their American flags out, you know, just showing their patriotism and um, for all of those that um, lost their lives for us um, so that, you know, we can um, live the lives we live in freedom and, you know, we really need to uh, pay tribute to those that gave up the sacrifice of their lives for us. All right, let's see. Uh, what are we going to do next? Oh, we're going to do the top of the S. Then it looks like we're going to have just one more minute. Mommy, sweetie. I think it says little in there. All right, we're going to stick with the blue. But before we do, this little thread here. Here comes my dog. <sighs> little thread. Oh, here's another one here. Okay. I don't know what she wants because we were just outside. I have to go do her last potty break. All right. So I think this is going to be cute. Yep. Well, I guess I'll have to do a daddy one too then, huh? Maybe tomorrow night. Oh, that's cute. Okay, it's little. L I. So I have one of those window fans in my bedroom window because um, my craft room is upstairs. It's a spare bedroom up here. And I think somebody's burning something in the neighborhood. Because I have the window fan so that it's blowing the cool air in. Well, it's also blowing in the stench from whatever that is outside. Yeah, I know, Dory. Either it's a structure fire or somebody's burning. You know, they have those yard, the, in the yard, they put those little um, chimeneas or something. But I didn't smell it when I was outside before, so I thought it'd be okay. Well, I could smell it now. Be stinking up the inside of my house and smell like I'm camping. But it's like not really like a campfire smell, it's more like a burning garbage smell. Oh, I hate that. But anyhow, at least the weather is nice. You can open the windows at night. I'll turn that off when I go to bed and just put my ceiling fan on and everything will be good. All right. There we go. Finished sewing with a little smiley face. Oh my gosh, I just love this machine. Bob, you are the best. Who needs a man in your life when you got a bob, right? Oops, sorry. So there we are. Mommy's, let, well you can't see that, can you? Let me move you back a little bit. There we are. Mommy's little sweetie. Put my hand behind that so you can see. Well, that ain't making it any better. Let me take it out of the hoop. 
Oh man, that smells bad. Mmm. Okay. So there it is. Let me put it here. Maybe you could see that a little better. Isn't that cute? So all I'm going to have to do now is I'm just going to have to go along here. And I'm just pulling it away. Man, that smells. And I'm just going to trim away all this excess. And, um... And then um, cut away any of these these long threads. God, I'm almost taking my breath away. Can't even talk with that smell. So you're just going to trim off those little threads, and I'll take it over to the desk and um, trim away all this excess stabilizer and uh, put a little bit of tender touch on the back. Iron it on. I'll do that tomorrow night because I think I'm done for tonight. And um, and there you go. So mommy's little sweetie and let the adventure begin. So cute little bibs, really nice, easy to do, great way to um, get yourself familiarized with your machine. Um, I definitely recommend it. Check out Amazon, you know, don't go and buy anything that's real expensive. Just start off with something little. Go to the Dollar Tree, check out uh, towels, pot holders, things like that if you're just getting started. Or maybe you have a design you're not sure if you're going to like it. You know, don't don't go into an expense of something and then find out you don't really like it. So um, I want to thank you for joining me. I got to go and close and stop that fan from blowing in the house. <laughs> and um, I want to thank everyone for joining me. Um, taking time out of your busy day to spend a little bit with me. I truly do appreciate all of those that have subscribed. If you're not yet a subscriber and you like videos like this and you enjoy my little chit chat, which I know a lot of you say you do, you get those negative Nancys out there that give you the thumbs down. And you know what? That's okay too, because that all counts toward the algorithm of YouTube. Whether you like it, you don't like it, they count it all as one. So anyhow, if you do like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Next to that button, you'll see a little bell. That's a notification bell. If you click on that bell, you can choose when you want to receive notifications for all my videos when I upload them. This way you'll get to see them firsthand before anybody else. And um, again, be safe out there. Um, enjoy your, your machines. If you're not into machine embroidery and you just like the comp, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Just like to hear someone chit chat, feel like you have company, you know, that's all right too. So have a great day, night, afternoon, wherever it is, whenever you're watching. And we'll see you back here again real soon for some more fun videos. All right, everyone, have a good one. Bye-bye for now.